no pressure at all, no pressure. OK, so can I, uh, are we all ready? Yes, yes, yes. OK, so can I have my music first? Oh, this is this music, OK. So uh, time. Welcome in my pop-up Coffee into Spirit bar. I'm glad you could join our Bye Bye Berlin party. I'm going to serve for you some signature cocktails. And the inspiration for the warm one comes from a beverage called Clarified Milk Punch. It comes from 18th century. It's not a particular recipe, it's more like a technique. And it uses the process of milk washing to produce, to reduce intense flavors of spirits and produce silky texture, mellow sweetness. And in the past, it was used to preserve freshness uh, of the beverage. But in the modern times, because of its elegant look, it's a top trend in the cocktail bars. And because of that elegant look, I call my version Lady Clarita. And by ordering this type of drink, uh, you can expect citrus characteristic and flavor notes of orange and peach, vanilla and honey sweetness, and spicy chocolate finish. And in order to achieve that, I will need 150 ml of filter brew coffee. And I have chosen coffee from Costa Rica because of its uh, balance and geisha varietal, because of its elegant citrus acidity. And natural anaerobic fermentation helps to achieve in that coffee flavor notes of orange, vanilla, and cinnamon. So the other ingredients, and I'm brewing it using 15 grams of coffee and 170 ml of water. And the rest of the ingredients, 40 ml of Meridor gin. It gives me citrus notes and some florality. 20 ml of chocolate patron liquor because of its spiciness. 30 ml of orange simple syrup. This is made of one part of orange, one part of water, and one part of sugar. And this will balance the acidity of lime juice, and lime, 30 ml of lime juice. And this is a key ingredient that actually makes the milk washing reaction happen. And the last ingredient, 100 ml of hot milk. This will give me honey-like sweetness and silky texture. And I will mix all the ingredients together. And this is the moment when the magic of milk washing is happening. So the milk curdles and the proteins removes most of the bitterness of your final beverage, resulting in a silky beverage with soft and mellow flavors. But not just yet. In order to achieve perfect results, we would need at least 12 hours. But I wouldn't be myself if I haven't tried to make it for you in less than 10 minutes. So I used a few tricks. Paper filtration of coffee keeps most of the solids out of the final beverage. Keeping some of the ingredients warm, speed up the reaction, and low pH of lime juice make the milk washing process more efficient. And now, and I'll also I'll use a double paper filtration. But as every lady, also this one needs a little time to prep, prep herself. So in the meantime, I will serve you my welcome, welcoming cocktail, which is immortal Irish coffee. And just imagine that you're arriving on a fancy party and you were caught by a rain. So what you want is something really warming you up. So it was an inspiration to produce flavor profile of this Irish coffee. So you can find flavor notes of melted vanilla ice cream, dried apricot, apple pie, cinnamon, and marzipan. And to achieve that flavor profile, I also have chosen coffee from Costa Rica. Also the same region, Tarasu. But I wanted more dried fruits, and I wanted higher body. So this coffee is El Diamante Azul, so it grows on lower altitude, and also a natural anaerobic fermentation. This time gives this coffee flavor notes of rum and raisin, molasses, and almonds. And to achieve that characteristic, I'm using 35 grams of coffee. 
and 400 mils of water. So the next ingredient will be cream. Thank you. And this cream comes from a farm near Berlin. It is a fresh cream with higher fat content. So this will give you buttery mouthfeel and flavor notes of vanilla. <laughs> and of course, I'm using a shaker to enhance the texture. Okay, so in every Irish coffee needs an Irish element, which is of course whiskey. And I have, cho I have chosen to blend two whiskies together. One of them is Irish whiskey, Method and Madness, because of its apple flavor and vanilla sweetness. The second is Cavallon single malt whiskey. It's a port cask whiskey, so it has spicy notes. And as a sugar, I decided to use Muscovado simple sugar syrup, made of one part of Muscovado sugar and one part of water. And I'm using 30 mils of that. And the whiskey was 30 and 20. The sugar will give me sweetness of molasses and also syrupy texture. I'm gonna mix it up. So the temperature, the base temperature, thank you has 65 degrees Celsius. And in this temperature, you get this warming experience. You get this warming experience, feel inside. Oh, shit. And I will top it up with cream that will have temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up for you. It's an elegant party, so we cannot have spills on the table. So the overall impression of temperature will be around 55 degrees Celsius. This will again give you the spicy note flavors. And especially in the first sip, you're gonna have dessert-like character. So here you go, enjoy your Irish coffee, and I'm gonna check if Clarita is ready to meet you. Thank you. So Lady Clarita is finally ready to meet you. And in temperature of 45 degrees, you have more intense orange aroma and lactose from milk gives you honey-like sweetness. And with the, it is a perfect example of a drink that, they, that gives advantage to top, uh, top cocktail lounges. With this simple 
flower as a garnish. It is highly feminine, so it was suitable for every woman. And uh, it can be preserved, uh, batched in advance for consistency of flavors and uh, speed of uh, service. Enjoy your night with Lady Clarita, and thank you for your attention. Time. Well done, Onieska. We are right back in a couple of minutes with the interview. We're now back here on stage with competitor number four, Onieska Royeska. Yeah, it's almost good. Yeah, <laughs> but um, good. So at this point, do you still get nervous somehow yes. on stage or? Yeah, haven't you seen it? Yes, I do still get nervous on stage. <laughs> Good, so that means still there is a lot of tension and pressure. Yeah, like, you know, there is always a pressure uh, because this is a different competition. It's my first time in Coffee and Good Spirits in, uh, in the world stage, so it's getting uh, something totally new. I don't know how it works, so I, I just need to get used to that. Yeah. Good, but uh, um, because of your experience, probably that brought you already directly first time into the finals. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's why. <laughs> but that's great. I mean... Uh, that's not for given that uh, first timer already already moves into the finals, but the drinks looked very good. Yes, yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, it's okay. Lovely you, with you, the flowers and everything. So. Yeah, look, you could share it on Instagram. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did you came up with that idea? With well, the thing with the um, the warm idea, the clarified milk punch, is uh, that it needs like a lot of filtrations, a lot of time, because it's like uh, it's a process that takes a lot of time to actually get the very clear results. So all those like building up and uh, and the magnetic steerer over there and the and the shelf uh, was to make the process happen in less than 10 minutes, which is like it's very hard to get 12 hours up to 10 minutes. Uh, so I was doing my best, and uh, actually the results are pretty okay. Very good, but yeah. um, those experience probably comes a bit from the world stage barista kind of a similar. Like I actually, I actually use similar technique in the barista stage because I was using. I, I needed something to be, will give me a great texture in a, in my uh, signature beverage, and I actually did uh, the milk washing process on WBC, but I wanted to use it in Coffee and Good Spirit first. I just had it in my mind. Great, so yep. again, put your hands together for Anieska. Thanks.